This is your forecast for the month of February 2017. This is a general reading for Leo Sun, Leo Rising, or Leo Moon. If you have a different rising or moon sign, you might find watching those videos helpful or more informative for you. Please remember that these are general readings, and so they may not apply to everyone. If you would like a personal reading that is specific to you, please visit my website at thealchemistastrologer.com provided on the link at the upper corner. If you have visited the site before, you'll need to clear your browser's cache for the schedule button to function properly. Now the underlying energy is this lover's card. So this is a card about partnerships, whatever those are, friends, uh, business partnerships, romantic partnerships, and this could also connect to healing. You may have contact with healers. So if you've been working on your health, that could be an underlying issue for you this month. Uh, but you may be facing an important decision. In fact, you probably are. You may be reviewing an important relationship or you may be beginning a new relationship, but there is a major choice to be made. And this choice has some consequences. You may be looking at two different paths with two very different outcomes, or you may be choosing between two lovers, or you may be choosing whether to get involved with someone because there are deep consequences to it. Or you may be choosing between a risk and security or between your head and your heart. Uh, you may be dealing with opponents or you know you may be in an unhealthy relationship or you may again feel as if you are on the horns of some type of dilemma. If this is in the negative, you may be grappling with some bad choices, some bad decisions, failing in some way, or the end of a relationship. Or you may be dealing with some inconsistencies, inconsistencies in behavior that have cost you, some ill-considered decisions. For some of you, you know, this is about love and there's been some infidelity or some marital problems or a separation or disagreements or you have an alliance that has been impacted by some outside forces. For others of you, this is about full-on hedonism and the, you know, you want your freedom at any cost and you've made decisions that were ill-considered. Whatever it is, you are at a fork in the road now. Fortunately, this is going to be a month where you can repair some things, whether that is your health or your relationship or your financial situation, whatever it is. You're going to have the ability to get some clarification that gives you a greater self-awareness and a greater understanding of the people that you're involved with that will allow you to have some peace of mind. Now, one or two people are going to enter your life this month that prove to be especially significant to your future, to your destiny, or you're going to reconnect with some people from your past. Whatever it is, this is going to be a month where you have a strong sense of responsibility. You're going to be more dedicated, but you need to be mindful of trying to save people or salvage situations that don't involve you or where those people need to fend for themselves. This is going to be a month where you have strong personal appeal, which normally you do, Leo. Uh, so you're going to be able to attract people in your circle that will help you achieve your goals, but they're also going to present more challenges for you. Now, this interaction, you, you know, the lover's card indicates that you're going to experience a measure of popularity. So you're going to enjoy the company of others and you're going to use that ability you have to make people feel your warmth, your, that you're going to turn on that uh, sunny star power of yours and use your sense of 
humor, lightness, and childlike exuberance to help you diffuse situations, to overcome differences of opinion, to help you smooth out where there has been issues of insult or threat. And this could be a month where you begin to feel more adventurous, more uh, more happier, more, more spontaneous, and you may achieve a great deal creatively, artistically, or academically. In fact, you could be gaining some type of recognition for your skills, your services, for who you are. This could come in the form of an award. Maybe you get a promotion. Maybe you get more money. Maybe you get a better job. Maybe you get uh, the relationship. Maybe you get an apology. Maybe you get restitution. Whatever the case, your relationships are in focus and they're very important this month. And even the best of those relationships will experience at some point during the month some amount of friction. Now, your first instinct may be to hold back. Maybe you don't want to share who you really are, what you really feel. Maybe that's based on some fear you have, what the consequences might be. But the best thing is for you to do is to share and express yourself and get things out in the open so that they can be cleared. So this is a month for you to really focus on being your best self and not the version of who others think you should be. Stop trying to fill the expectations of others, to fit a mold, to be something that you're not, to live up to everybody's everything. And you're going to find once you become comfortable with who you are and not being subservient or too jealous then your relationships are going to improve. And one other thing that's going to be vital to improving your relationships is to not rely so much on that magnetism and charm that you have. Feeling that that's the ultimate card for you to pull each time you're faced with a situation, you try to smooth it over with your charm and your charisma. Uh, and, and try to convince people to, to turn things your way simply because you're charming. So this is going to be a month for you to do some contemplation. Maybe you're doing that with other people behind the scenes. Maybe you're taking some stock of a situation and weighing your options to make a crucial decision. And again, maybe you're doing this with another person. Maybe two heads are better than one. For others of you, you're realizing that you're, you're wasting your time in something and you need to take a time out. Maybe, you know, because you're, you need to do some healing physically, emotionally, financially, whatever the case. But this is going to be a month of challenging developments where you are looking at your partnerships and how you interact with others, whether it's constructive or self-defeating. And this has been an ongoing theme for you, Leo. How you handle your relationships or how you allow yourself to be handled in your personal and your professional interactions. So this is going to be something old, some old situation that has been ongoing that's going to take you know, go in another direction. It's going, the, the ante is going to go up or it's something new is going to be started. But whatever it is, it's going to unfold or escalate for you rather quickly this month. This is also going to be a, a month where you can, if you should, should so choose, to repair or clarify things in order to allow yourself to handle your responsibilities more efficiently. But the biggest changes are not going to occur in one big bang. What's going to happen is there are going to be a series of smaller incidents that trigger some overdue changes and that change your perspective and the understanding that you have and perhaps the awareness of other people. So again, partnerships are in focus and a significant turning point will occur 
Uh, you may have experienced some disappointment, some loss. You may be turning your back on some partnerships. Some people have let you down. You may be trying to save people. Uh, you may be trying to salvage something, but there's going to be a significant turning point where you get in touch with your feelings and how you really feel about another person. Now, there's only one major card, so you have a lot of control over situations this month. There is a thread that's running through things because there's no fire. So there is a lack of energy, a lack of will, a lack of motivation, and perhaps and some apathy on the part of someone in a situation. There's going to be a feeling that nothing is happening. Nothing is moving forward. Now, this could be because there's a lot of self-indulgence going on. Or maybe you're in a relationship where there's codependency and two people are indulging one another. It could be that, you know, through the week, there's a lot of self-control. You're working hard. You're doing what you should. You, things are in order. But by the time the weekend comes, it's you know, you're letting loose. It's this hedonistic lifestyle over the weekend. You're working through the week, but when the weekend comes, you know, it, it, you're letting go. So there's an air of being too uh, emotional or too passive in situations. However, you still have the ability on some level to allow your reason and your logic to cut through the fog.